In this video, we'll examine the different elements, which constitute a computer. From the most external components to the most internal which allow it to work. Here is a classic computer. Here we have the big box we call the computer system unit. A monitor. A keyboard. A mouse. An external hard drive. These last components are called external peripheral devices. Input devices like the keyboard, the mouse, a camera or a scanner. They can also be output devices like a monitor or a printer. Input-output devices like the external hard drive, with which we can read the information at the input, and write information at the output. All these external peripheral devices are plugged into the back of the computer into sockets named ports. I've turned the computer around and you can see here all the connections made at the back of the computer system unit. Most of these connections are provided by socket called ports. Here we can see USB ports for the external hard drive and for the mouse. Here a picosecond slash 2 port for the keyboard. DVI ports to which the monitor is plugged. There are also other ports like the firewire ports. And here a specific port an Ethernet port which demonstrates that the Internet can also be seen as a peripheral device external to the computer. Now let's look at what happens inside the computer system unit. There are many things inside this computer system unit. But let's begin with the connection to the outside. Here we have the power supply which is plugged into this power supply unit. All the cables of a certain color will carry electricity opponents of the computer. The monitor here is plugged into this element which is the video card. At last, the other elements like the keyboard, the mouse and the hard drive are plunked into this big plate. We see at the bottom that is called the motherboard. The different elements here are the power supply, the video card, the motherboard at the bottom, and there are other elements. Here we have a DVD player burner drive and a floppy disk drive, and then we can see they are powered by these cables. And here we have two hard drives. Actually, these different elements are like peripheral devices but internal this time. We can see they are powered by this blue cable here, and this gray ribbon connect them to the motherboard. Thanks to internal ports this time. To better see the computer core I will also remove this big block here. Which consists of a fan, of a cooling system for the central processing unit CPU. So I've removed the DVD burner and the floppy disk drives as well as the power supply. The big cooling block here I can remove it. You can see the CPU below. And the remaining element is a fan. I've also removed the two hard drives. I've kept one to show you that it's connected to the motherboard with a port. There's more we can see the motherboard a little better. But there are still circuits I've already talked about some of them. Here is the video card. And here a card with which the firewire ports can be controlled. Which are still not part of the computer core. We're almost done. And here are the essential elements of a computer, with hard drive which are the mass storage, but I can remove them. Here we have printed circuit board, which I can also remove. It's the random access memory the RAM. That's it we've removed all the internal peripheral devices. And there are two elements left here the motherboard and in particular little electronic circuits. Here with which the different ports, we could see from outside are managed. They're called controllers. Finally, the CPU. The most important component in a computer. Here is the heart of the computer. I opened the protection cover so I can remove the CPU.
We can see here it's connected to the motherboard with numerous little legs that act like ports. The CPU is the essential computing unit of the computer. Even inside the CPU, we will find a specific design with memory areas named caches and several computer units. Usually, many which work simultaneously to be more efficient. I zoomed out on the computer. Now we can see the central element that is the link between all the other elements of the computer it's the motherboard. The motherboard is the computer main circuit board. It's a thin plate that holds the CPU the fundamental element, which communicates via the motherboard with internal peripheral devices, such as RAM or hard drives, the video card the DVD burner drive, but also with external devices through port controllers, which can be seen at the back of the computer.